Hey everyone, good morning. This is Brian Weber here again with uh, another recap of my Top Step Trader $150,000 combine. I think this is day four. So I ended up the up on the day about $870, but it was not easy. Um, as you guys know, I mostly trade long. I think trading short is probably one of the biggest challenges for me. Uh, I think just because of an old mentor that I used to trade with, he always went long. So I kind of got in the habit of doing it. Um, but I think there's nothing really wrong with that as long as you're patient and wait for uh, for your support levels that you know offer good risk reward or good probability that you'll see a reversal, If you're especially if you're in a downtrend like you can see. We are kind of today because we opened below yesterday's low and it was pretty bearish on until about this level that I'm going to talk about where I took most of my trades or most of my profit came from. As you can kind of see, I kind of, let me set this guy up really quick for uh, spotlight. So right here, I tried to catch catch some longs here and I ended up scratching and I think for a very small profit, uh, I think I might've added a little bit down here. You can kind of see, added on the lower end of this wick once I started seeing it turn around and took some profit around the, uh, I think that's like the 20 EMA uh, because I did notice that we were in a downtrend. But I wanna talk about how to identify good high probability reversal areas. And I use FIBS for that. And so most of the time it aligns with other levels that we have. I want to bring up why I thought this 36, like 3650 area was a good, a good uh, reversal area. So if I bring up this hourly chart, I have a line there that also you can see that's where kind of we flagged over here. I think that was on Sunday night and we broke out to the upside. But if you take a Fibonacci retracement. Let me just see if I can get this one correct. Okay, so this is the fib that I used this morning. I drew it from the high. I don't think I grabbed the high there. From the high of Monday, I believe, and came all the way down to yesterday's low, like the 6550. I don't think I have that drawn exactly correct. Let me just fix this guy a little bit. Okay, so you can see this 100% of the move. We're kind of in a base range here, looking to break out, trying to break out of this downtrend to the upside. Couldn't clear that 3,900 overnight. So rejected down and broke the strong support around the 65, 66 area. So first, I usually look for a bounce. It's about the... 23.6% extension below the measured move, but a really, really solid area, especially if it aligns with other support and other breakout levels, it is this two thirds down, which is around the 36.75. And that aligned with where I had drawn a line as well. So I looked for longs in that area. Let me actually go back to the five minute chart. And you can kind of see we came in here, formed a nice hammer. I was getting long like one, maybe two, with a stop below the low of this candle. I was probably gonna let it go to like below 32, just to give it some room. And then once I saw this hammer come in here, it's kind of like a hammer, it's almost a doji, but there's a, big, a nice lower wick right on the support area that I was watching. And simply just buying on the way up and looking to trim in the upper part of this range because some good volume came in. Then I rebought the dip again on this candle. You can see uh, right here, had a limit limit buy at 36.50, got filled and I took profit a uh, little bit prematurely. I took profit just under the nine EMA or the 10, uh, something like that. And uh, yeah, then I ended the day after that um clearly the 67 60 68 area is resistance so if the market can't make it above that uh, we're going to probably go lower or retest the lows but the hourly does have a nice hammer candle about two hours ago so we'll see how that holds so i just wanted to give you guys another 
breakdown of what I did today and how I identified this nice reversal at the 3650 area for a nice long uh, lock in about $870 worth of profit. So I'm about one third done on the step one and $150,000 combine. Looking to continue to trade my strategy, just identifying good support areas, breakout levels, reversal areas, whatnot. And more importantly, just no one to get out and manage the risk. And a couple of times I did have to, when I did average down into like these levels, I did trim contracts for like one, two point gains, but didn't actually go back to my average. I was just trying to reduce risk. And that's really important. If you're going to add to a position, you don't want to sit there and just hold for the market to come back to your average. You're going to have to trim uh, as you can, you know, and then you can re-add obviously, but reducing your risk when you're taking a taking a big red drawdown is important, especially uh, to give yourself a chance in these top step trader combines to uh, to give some time for that reversal to happen if it does. Okay, so tomorrow I might not be able to trade because I have some things I have to do in the morning. But if I do, I'll be sure to record another recap and let you guys know how I did. So. Have a great day. And if you haven't subscribed yet to my YouTube channel, make sure to do that. Give me a thumbs up if you can. If you enjoy this content and you learn something from it. And uh, talk to you guys soon. Bye.